Washita Mountain Living. My name is Mike. Have you ever caught yourself watching an old TV show uh, and you've seen things in there that you'd forgotten about? Say you're watching a show from the 70s and they show rotary phones and old bulky radios and, and TVs and black and white and you're like, man, I forgot about all that stuff. Yeah, well, you know, a lot of them shows are still out there. In fact, I was watching a couple episodes of Adam 12 the other day. And if you really want to watch a series that'll take you back, that is one you got to do. Rooster, <laughs> my dog. Well, yeah, there's a lot of shows out there, guys. Uh, one Adam 12 was one of my favorites when I was a kid. I think that started in 68. And, of course, went on to about 75. So, you know, I was born in 66. So, obviously, you know, I've been watching reruns. And reruns on that played for 20 years. Same with Emergency. Uh, but Adam-12 was a really good show to go back and see uh, the legitimate styles. Uh, everything to do with the 70s. A lot of old movies that were made then, you're not going to see a lot of that. But in a lot of the, the weekly series, you, you do see that. And uh, it's pretty cool to actually go back. And that's a pretty good show. And, it's you know, it could be funny. Uh, same with Emergency. Uh, they'd show up. Some guy would be wrapped in saran wrap or something. But they are still out there. In fact, I think this was years ago. I watched the whole... The nice thing is, you know, you can go now and watch it. Even if you watched Adam-12 and stuff when it came out, you can go back now and you ain't going to remember none of them episodes. It's like watching it all over again for new. At least for me, because I didn't remember any of them. Uh, another show, I mean, it depends on the era that you want to go back and watch, but usually it's the TV series uh, that... You know that that that'll show how life actually was back then. They're like little time capsules. Uh, Chips, another cop show. You know it was kind of corny, but they showed the styles and the cars people drove. And you know you get to watching some of them old shows and you see some of these cars and you're like, man, I forgot about those kind of cars. Or you know you you'll see a paper boy riding down a road. Throwing papers at houses. Well, that's how papers used to get delivered. That was an actual job you could get as a kid, which you couldn't do anymore. And if they had that job anymore, you ain't getting no, you know, I worked in the newspaper industry printing them. And all the years I did it, I never seen any kids deliver papers. It was usually adults that were driving. Uh, kids wouldn't, parents wouldn't trust their kids, you know, out there today to do that get up at four in the morning and go deliver papers but i'm getting off the subject again but anyway yeah a lot of them shows uh you can go into the 80s the 18 now that was a corny show and a lot of these shows had famous guest stars in them um adam 12 i think you had man there was just there and there is a list on you can get on google and say who guest starred on adam 12 uh, it'll give you a list of people and you know most of those people on that show are dead now uh, What was another good show? It's just all kinds, you know, but shows like Gilligan's Island and things like They're set on an island. So you're not really seeing what's going on. You just hear that corny Fake rock music that Gilligan listens to that never was any kind of hit You know, you always in the 60s or 70s. I always had that fake music they didn't have copyright issues then. That's the way it was. So those are good time castles to look at. Um, who uh, YouTube has a lot of them shows. I know they show a lot of All in the Family and things like that. And if you go back and watch some All in the Family now, whoo, can you imagine Archie Bunker on today's TV? I mean, he wouldn't last a day. They'd be canceling him, and people would be sitting in the corners crying and protesting. It'd be crazy. Archie would tear. If You imagine if there was an army of Archie Bunkers, and you just released them in the cities. All these woke people, 
Woo, they would get tore up by the bunker. They would. There goes my camera again. So yeah, I was that was uh, a couple days ago I was watching that. Uh, Adam Twelve. Man, that's a good show. And they you know, how they all them shows and a lot of them shows back in the seventies and that they were made by the same people. The same producers, so a lot of them they all look the same. But you know, the difference was when you went to a commercial, it wasn't a minute and a half drug commercial. Uh, they were usually pushing household products to housewives. Uh, there wasn't a bunch of lawyer ads and all the garbage woke stuff that is a uh, commercial. I mean, I have not watched TV in, in 12 years. But, I mean, any new shows that were created in the last 12 years, I don't have any clue what they are. And I don't want to know. I just, I have never, whatever they went from analog to digital TV, that's the last TV I watched. And that was quite a while ago. Uh, there's nothing on there that's any good. It's all reality shows anymore. Uh, which were cool at first, but they're not cool anymore. I don't even know what's on there anymore. Uh, I can tell you I'd probably not be interested in it and watching all the woke commercials and pushing all the nonsense that they do. But if you miss the old days, man, you just go back and watch some of them old shows. And some of them, you're going to get just clips and pieces of them. There's one show, uh, channel I watch. It actually does movies. But it's called All Out Action. But they'll take a movie and they'll play about 10 minutes of it. And then the next day they'll pay another, play another 10 minutes of it. So you can watch the whole movie like 10 minutes at a time. Um, so that's pretty cool. And, I, and there's some that do full episodes of like All in the Family. There's one I watch that does Sanford and the Son. Uh, you know, a lot of them series, they never left the, the actual set. But shows like, you know, the police shows and that, they would get out and about. Another one was Vegas. Vegas was cool. Um, there's just so many series that where they would get out and about. Uh, I never got into Baywatch or any of that. Knight Rider from the 80s. That was Those were pretty corny. Especially Knight Rider. That guy, <laughs> the guy that played, the drove the Knight Rider. I can't remember his name. Boy, he was a lousy actor. Still is. What was his name? David something. Hasselhoff. That guy sucks. He can't act for nothing. So if you're a David Hasselhoff song or fan, I'm sorry. But he ain't no actor. There's a lot of them that ain't no actors. I don't know. Well, I've got to get some dog food in this house today. Uh, you know, when you do these every day, it's kind of hard to come up with something, but I was thinking of that this morning. First thing I seen was a clip of Adam 12, and I'm like, man, that's, it's pretty cool to go watch those episodes and, and look at the clothes they're wearing. The same clothes my, you know, parents bought for me, the, the plaid polyester pants. I've got some where I'm wearing green checkered pants and, and bell bottoms and man that stuff looks ridiculous now i asked i've asked my parents why did you dress us like that you know that was the style yeah it was an ugly style i'll never forget this was a very very early 80s i worked for uh american veterans uh it was a thrift store and what we do we, there were seven of us and we all had our own big truck we drive around the city and pick up donations. And a lot of the clothes we had donated were, you know, probably from older people and stuff that had, there was still a lot of clothes from the 60s. Oh man, we'd get this plaid stuff and we'd get it all back to the, to the store and we'd put on some of them checkered pants and bell bottoms and ugly plaid coats. We had a ball with that old vintage clothes, but they threw it away. Or they would send it off to, to have it made into rags. But a lot of them clothes today would be worth some money. So, but who's, who's going to know that stuff? You know, hey, bell bottoms are coming back. Well, they've been saying that. I ain't seen anybody wearing no bell bottoms. Of course, where I live, there's no styles. Everybody wears jeans. 
and t-shirts. Real clothes. We don't wear skinny jeans or any of that kind of nonsense. Nobody follows uh, trends. Yeah, it's just normal country people wearing normal clothes. I don't even know where you'd go to buy whatever's in style now. All right, guys, we'll keep this one short. Yesterday's went a little long, and uh, it didn't do too well, so we try to keep them around 10 minutes or so. Thanks for watching. We will see you on the next one. Happy trails. And I hope the sound's good because my mic's still not working. Don't know. It acts like it's dead, and I've got it charging. I charged it yesterday, and but it's still dead. So, brand new mic. Stuff made in China. Happy trails.